KKL 9's Nicole Comstock is live in Lake Hughes tonight with an update on that firefight. Nicole? Well, the good news is that the lake fire has slowed down dramatically since last night when it absolutely raced through these neighborhoods behind us here. But the bad news is that before firefighters were able to get a better handle on these flames, a couple of families lost their homes. Homes and cars were burned to the ground, and the ashes are now visible from the main road leading into this tight knit mountain town near Lake Hughes. This is the unpredictable and terrifying path the lake fire carved through the Angeles National Forest. Four of my friends lost their homes right up Pine Canyon. Michael Casey knows these families very well, knows how hard they worked for what they had. It just took it out, you know, so it's just, it's just sad. Out of the thousands of homes that were initially threatened by the lake fire, it appears that only a handful of them out here along Pine Canyon Road were destroyed. But the big concern on the second night of this firefight is that the winds are picking up again. Flare ups are keeping crews busy tonight, trying to keep the now 11,000 acre lake fire north of Castaic Lake and south of Highway 138. Water dropping helicopters and ground crews were able to contain 5% of the fire by nightfall. But with hotter temperatures and gusty winds expected to blow through the steep terrain Friday, evacuation orders are staying put. Worst comes to worst, we all take care of each other, period. Casey has already lent a helping hand to one of his friends who lost his home. You guys are flatlanders down that way. Okay. And he's encouraging the firefighters working to save the rest of his neighborhood. LA County, all right, you guys are good, man. And you can see there's again a little bit of a flare up in the hillside behind us out here. Damage assessment teams are still trying to make their way out into these neighborhoods to get a better idea of exactly how many homes burned. Reporting at Lake Hughes, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. All right, Nicole, thank you very much.